Hi, and welcome to this video. The stamp that we will investigate next deals with, Rosalia de Castro. Create by Spain in the year 1967, and with the facial value of six pesetas. So, make yourself comfortable wherever you are, pay attention, and enjoy the history that this stamp hides. Maria Rosalia Rita de Castro was a Galician poet, strongly identified with her native Galicia and the celebration of the Galician language. Writing in Galician and Spanish after the period known as the Dark Centuries, she became an important figure of the Galician Romantic movement, known today as the Renaissance, along with Manuel Curros Enriquez and Eduardo Pondel. Her poetry is marked by Saudade, an almost ineffable combination of nostalgia, longing, and melancholy. She married Manuel Merguia, a member of the important literary group known as the Royal Galician Academy, historian, journalist, and editor of Rosalia's books. The couple had seven children, Alexandra, Aura, twins Gala and Oviedo, Amara, Adriano, and Valentina. Only two of Rosalia's children married, Aura in 1897 and Gala in 1922. Neither they nor their siblings left any children, and thus, today there are no living descendants of Rosalia de Castro and her husband. Their son Oviedo was a promising painter, his career cut short by early death. Rosalia published her first collection of poetry in Galician, Cantares Gallegos, on May 17, 1863. This date, May 17th is now known as the Galician Literature Day and commemorates Rosalia's achievement by dedicating, every year, this special day to a different writer who must also write in the Galician language since 1963. Dia das Letras Galegas is an official holiday in the autonomous community of Galicia. Relative poverty and sadness marked Rosalia's life. In spite of this, she had a strong sense of commitment to the poor and to the defenseless. She was a strong opponent of abuse of authority and an ardent defender of women's rights. Rosalia suffered from uterine cancer and died in Padron, province of A Coruña, Spain, on July 15, 1885. She is buried in the Pantheon de Gallegos Illustres, a pantheon in the convent of San Domingos de Bonaval in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. Rosalia de Castro is today one of the unquestionable poets laureate of Galicia. Highly educated, expected to speak and write in Spanish and Galician, she took the bold, unconventional step of writing her early poems in the Galician language. Her defiance earned her the contempt and spite of many that deemed Galician as a Spanish dialect fit only for the illiterate and the churlish. However, Rosalia's defiant gesture won her the love and admiration of the common folk who spoke Galician at home or on a daily basis. Schools in Galicia, in Spain, in Russia and in Uruguay, libraries, cultural associations, awards, parks, folklore groups, choirs, compositions of her poems, a Galician traditional morning song adorned with the lyrics of one of her poems, a professional sports team, monuments at home and abroad, a theater, restaurants, a label of white wine, lodgings, a banknote formerly in circulation, a postage stamp, a FS-98 Iberia Airbus A340, a C-Rescue plane, a school train and many streets have all taken her name. Small Stations Press published Rosalia de Castro's Galician songs in English, translated by asterisk Aaron Moore, in 2013. The Moore translation of de Castro's New Leaves was published by Small Stations in September 2016. In 2010, Edwin Mellon Press also published the most thorough and representative volume of poetry and prose from Rosalia de Castro, 1837 to 1885, ever translated into English. In 2007, Shearsman Books published a paperback of selected poems translated by Michael Smith. In 2004, Louis J. Rodriguez wrote for the literary magazine Babel a translation and analysis of two Rosalian poems, Nazan Kandu as Prentice Nazan and Negra Sombra. In 1991, 
State University of New York Press launched an English anthology edited and translated by Anna Marie Aldez, Barbara N. Gant, and N. C. Bromley. In 1977, Kathleen Culphill translated several Galician poems as part of her work entitled Rosalia de Castro. This book is still available from allbookstores.com. In 1964, the Spanish Ministry of Foreign Affairs published a selection of Galician poems translated into English by Charles David Lay. This book may be found in Spanish rare books libraries. In Japan, the first volume of Rosalian poetry was translated in 2009 by Takakazu Asaka, which is available from DTP Publishing, Tokyo. In the 1990s, Katsuyo Ohada wrote two articles in the journal, The Review of Inquiry and Research at Kansai Gaidai University, Osaka, Japan, on the Galician poet El Inconscient Creativo de Rosalia de Castro and En Las Orillas del Sar, El Mundo Entimo de Rosalia de Castro. Editoria Crisolita, in 2008, published an anthology of Rosalia's Galician poems in Portuguese, translated by Indigius Sores de Mora. In the French-speaking world, Fall of Oing in 2003 offered a French anthology of Galician poems translated by José Carlos González. The name Rosalia de Castro has been used by several institutions, public spaces, and or parks, and on consumer goods, thus showing the social influence and impact this poet has had on the region. Today, it is possible to find schools and universities named after the writer in the Spanish Autonomous Region of Galicia, as well as other parts of Spain, Russia, Venezuela, and Uruguay also have places that bear her name. Furthermore, there are numerous parks, plazas, and streets, cultural associations, prizes granted to people that are intimately linked with the Galician and Spanish languages, libraries, folk groups, choirs, and even a wine with the name Rias Bikes. There is also a plane from the airline Iberia, as well as an aircraft belonging to the Maritime Safety and Rescue Society, Salvamento Maritimo, have been given the name of Rosalia de Castro. Moreover, there are a multitude of monuments, commemorative plaques, and sculptures dedicated to her in many parts of the world. On October 23, 1979, the last of the 500 Peseta bills was printed, being that in 1987, this bill was to be substituted by a coin of the same value. The bill had the portrait of Rosalia de Castro displayed on the obverse side, created by Pablo San Pedro Molito. On the reverse side were the house slash museum of Rosalia located in Padron and a few handwritten verses from Rosalia de Castro's work Falas Novas. With the printing of this bill, Rosalia de Castro became, excepting Isabella I of Castile, the only non-allegorical female to be placed on the obverse side of a Spanish bill. In 2019, the International Astronomical Union named the star HD 149143 after de Castro as part of the name ExoWorlds contest. <laughs>